This is a typical early 30s bracing pattern. And right now we've, we've glued these on with hot high glue, kind of a rough shape, and we're just gonna fine tune the graduations. Um, number one for the edges to kind of meet the rims and, and meet up with the rest of the body, but we're also, this is one of the more critical points of building a guitar is making a judgment on how stiff this wood is and the weight and the thicknesses and how it all vibrates and stuff. So I'm gonna kind of take my time on this and, and shave these and shape them um, just to how I see fit, how I think that this top really wants to work. And I'll kind of go in here. These are all red spruce, just like the top. And I want to shave these down. Shave them all down so they kind of meet up. Right. And I don't, I don't spend a whole lot of time sanding braces. A lot of people do. I, I mostly do chisel work and, and planes. And leave it a little bit rough cut. Sometimes I like seeing traces of edge tools better than I do sandpaper, given that my chisels are sharp. Um, almost all the construction for the guitar is, is done with hot high glue. That's the norm. That's the traditional violins were put together that way. And, um, steel string guitars um, in the 20s and 30s and stuff. High glue is kind of the normal. It's easy to work with. It's acoustically, I think it's the best for sound transmission. It can be, it can clean up really nicely. You can make it any consistency you want, uh, stronger or weaker, or thicker or thinner. And, um, and that's what I use. All my guitars and fiddles and banjos. Everything's going to kind of make a difference in tone. You know, the thickness of the top, the the um, the braces on how thin they're carved, and how um, how tall and wide they are. Some braces are thicker and lower, and some are taller and skinnier. They kind of taper up. They kind of get skinny. I like them to be skinnier and taller. Is what I, I like in a brace. Um, and you can, you just, you basically loosening and tightening the top is what you're doing. You know, you, you got to make a judgment call on whether you think there's too much, it's too stiff or too loose. And you kind of have a starting point with these braces that you saw out on the table saw, and then you, you kind of loosen it up with a chisel. You kind of just blend everything in and, um, and that's kind of, um, that's, you know, one of the big things you get with experience is just, building a lot of guitars and um, getting an idea for how they're going to sound. And the brace stock too, you might use brace stock that's, you know, that's a lot harder and denser than, um, than others. And so we've used red spruce, the same as the top on this one. And that's, and that's all I've ever used is red spruce on all my braces. I think for most instrument makers, guitar makers, or this is probably like the most, one of the most like artistic and funnest parts of building an instrument. Um, you know, there's a lot of tedious, tedious jobs involved with the whole building process, but I think working with the wood and, and something that's so crucial to the sound is pretty, pretty fun stuff for me anyhow. Thank you.